of the Orch HaSiddiqim, we're on page 90. What is a, 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 a fence, a barrier to protect yourself from arrogance and from other negative traits? Anybody who wants to uproot the coarseness out of his heart, the arrogance, the haughtiness out of his heart, completely. You can't do it just by thought. Oh, I'm going to think about it and I'm not going to be arrogant anymore. No, no, no. He says, arrogance, you have to go to the opposite extreme. If you were a person who would dress in refined clothes, you would wear beautiful, nice clothes, always clean, always beautiful, spotless, like those who are arrogant. He wrote to Lashem and said, you want to return from this? You want to correct yourself? It doesn't have to be perfect. It could be okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be sparkling. He says, if you do that, you're not going to get it all out. You're not going to get all the arrogance out. Oh, he says, it doesn't go by you just being a little bit, you know, in moderation. Let me, let me be, no, 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 no. When you want to re- uproot a negative trait, you got to go to the opposite extreme and then balance out. Opposite extreme and then balance out. I'll give you an example for this. Um, okay, we'll get to it in a second. V'yilbash b'loye hashavos hamevazos eslof shehem. You know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. In, in the yeshiva of, of the Musar masters, they knew that they needed to break their arrogance and their haughtiness. So you know what they would do? They would humiliate themselves. You know how they would humiliate themselves? They would go to a pharmacy and they would say, where can I find a hammer? And the people were like, hammer? You came into a pharmacy. You didn't come into a hardware store. And everyone would laugh at him. What an idiot. You came to a pharmacy? You came to a pharmacy to look for a hammer and they would be humiliated. And like this, they would that would get them to humble themselves. Be humble. Don't think like you're so great. And they would intentionally do that. Imagine walking into a, to a, into a Home Depot and saying, where, do, where can I find the, uh, the organic, uh, you know, you know it, it's like, what? like what's, what's wrong with you? You know, it's like, you're in the wrong place. Go down the block and go to a, go to a pharmacy. You know, the idea here is that, that don't take yourself so seriously. Don't think like you're so, you're so, you're so holy. Go to the opposite extreme to completely eradicate that arrogance from your heart. Someone who gets angry, someone who has a bad temper, a hot temper. The way to break it is that let people beat you, let people embarrass you, let people curse you, and don't, 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 don't be impressed by it. Let it, let it, let it hurt you. Let it hurt you. Don't respond. And go this way for a while. Until you're able to completely uproot that anger from your heart. And then you can go back to the mid-path, to the normal way of living life. And a person should go like this his whole life, constantly correcting Correcting, but you have to overcorrect to then return and be balanced. And so should a person do in all of his good traits. First, when you're trying to correct it, correct it, overcorrect, all the way to the opposite extreme. For an extended period of time. And then find a moderate course, a balanced way. And this is the proper healing, the proper cure for all negative traits. And anybody whose 
inclined to serve Hashem, Yosim Zoraderech Lefanov Lefnei Chavero should do the following exactly what we mentioned for himself and for his friends. And to the one who sets his way, I will reveal the salvation of God, says King David in Psalms 50, verse 23. We need to set a course. We have to understand that we're all plagued with a negative trait here and a negative trait there. We're all challenged in one way or another. And if we want to fix it, it doesn't help to just like slightly fix it. No, no, no. You have to overcorrect to then balance it out. Think of it as a plane, right? If you, if you you're trying to turn the plane to get to the right place, what you have to do is you have to go. You can't you can't just turn right there. You have to overturn a little bit and then correct it. Okay. And th- the idea here is that. When we realize that we're in a trap of the Yetzirah, it's not going to help by appeasing the Yetzirah and saying, I'll just be a little bit more balanced in my response. That's not going to take it away. You have to break it. Once you break it, then you can have balance. My dear friends, this concludes the gate of haughtiness, and I look forward to continuing the gate of humility on page 97 tomorrow. And this makes all the sense in the world if you remember what the Talmud says, that one who is humiliated publicly and doesn't respond, that he's forgiven of all his sins. It makes all the sense. After learning everything we learned about in this chapter about arrogance, we want to be at a point, at a place that we realize that we control nothing. And if someone humiliates us and we are able to accept that and not answer back and just recognize that everything is from Hashem and that Hashem gives you all of your talents. He gives you all of your skills and we have nothing to take pride of. That's a very special place. That means a person is whole. A person reaches his perfection. And that's something that we should all strive for. One of the great stories of one of the great Hasidic masters was approached by one of his students who said, what do I do? I've been humiliated. I've been, you know, someone yelled at me in public and, and just embarrassed me in front of everyone, in front of my family, in front of my, my friends. What do I do? So the rabbi turned to him and said to him, what did you say in, in return? He says, I said nothing. I just kept quiet. He said, in that case, please put your hands on my head and give me a blessing. The rabbi said, give me a blessing. Because the Talmud says that one who is humiliated publicly doesn't respond, is forgiven of all his sins. He says, you, my friend, are a perfect human. You're, you have reached perfection because you didn't respond to go and defend yourself and be arrogant like, oh, you know who I am. In such a case, it's a very, very special thing that you didn't respond. I want a blessing from you. Hashem should bless us all to attain that level of greatness.